Firefighters in Oakland are saying they are sick of responding to calls at an abandoned city library that's become a hotbed for drugs and crime. One councilman tells our Kristen Ayers the blinded building is making the entire city look bad. This is really sad. It's a blight. Tonight, the historic Miller Library in East Oakland is boarded up, wallpapered with asbestos warnings to keep squatters out. People are living here. They're starting fires. City Councilman Noel Gallo walked us through the abandoned city building back in March. It's been deserted since the 90s when seismic issues forced the city to shut it down. Gallo told us it's now a drug den. And I can almost assure you, one day we're going to find people dead inside the building. And we've come very close to that. Walking in, people are doing drugs in one end, prostitution in the other. In the last month, things have only grown worse. In April, there was one fire, and within a week and a half, another, leaving the inside looking like this. One firefighter was injured, and Battalion Chief James Bowron complained to the city. He has a right to be frustrated. Public works officials are paying attention. Since the fires, they've put up caution tape and multiple layers of fencing, but city officials say that may not change much. You come back tomorrow morning, I'm sure those boards will be removed and built. People will be inside. Gallo says some investors have expressed interest in leasing the building, including a church across the street, but they would have to shell out two and a half million dollars for structural improvements. The city is accepting offers, but in the meantime, Gallo says they're setting a bad example. This is a city property. The city, we at the city government has to have to show an example in terms of how we maintain what we own. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers on the night.